that also could be behind the delay in the Hawkeye State tonight. Well, absentee voting and early voting not allowed in the Iowa caucuses, so there have been official satellite locations today, places like New York City, Florida, Arizona. How about Paris, though, even Scotland? Local 22's Mike Hoey is on Church Street in Burlington tonight, right outside Bernie Sanders' Vermont campaign headquarters, and he joins us live there. Hi, Mike. Well, Lauren, you just mentioned a couple of the more notable locations among the 87 official satellite caucus sites, but the overwhelming majority of them are within Iowa itself. It's actually even quieter here at Sanders Vermont headquarters than it is at Iowa headquarters, as you showed us a few moments ago. So Iowa still has definitely been the one place where campaign offices like this one have had their efforts concentrated today. On my way to Iowa. <laughs> Bernie Sanders and the other two senators in the Democratic race had to leave Washington in a hurry Monday after closing arguments in President Trump's impeachment trial. Our job together is to create the highest turnout in the history of the Iowa caucus. They all headed to the Hawkeye State. Oh, we're feeling good about the surge we're seeing. Sanders isn't the only Democratic candidate whose fortunes were on the rise entering the caucuses. According to 538.com, Senator Amy Klobuchar has cracked 10 percent support in not only Iowa, but also New Hampshire. I visited all 99 counties in Iowa. Three months ago, Senator Elizabeth Warren was leading in Iowa. She's lost support since then, but is still one of the top contenders. The bad news is there's no more room inside. South Bend, Indiana Mayor Pete Buttigieg's turn in the lead in Iowa came from mid-November through late December. History has taught us we cannot take the risk of meeting a fundamentally new challenge by falling back on the familiar. We can't be afraid. And former Vice President Joe Biden has been trading the lead back and forth with Sanders since the start of the year. You let only a certain bunch of us out of the gate. We don't all get through the gate. We don't all, we don't all get to move beyond where, we, where we've been. And, uh, you know, it really matters. It really matters what you do. Well, on the Republican side, President Trump does have two challengers to contend with from within, from within his own party, former Massachusetts Governor Bill Weld and former Illinois Congressman Joe Walsh. We didn't get very far along into the evening before a wide range of national media outlets projected the president as an easy winner over the two of them. Although, Lauren, as you mentioned, we are still waiting for official results to come out of Iowa tonight. Live at Sanders Vermont headquarters in Burlington, Mike Hoey, Local 22 News. Mike, thank you. I am now joined by political